Big exciting news is you start your new morning at the 6.30 edition of Early Mornings LA as states across the board, cities and counties are issuing stimulus checks like it's water. <laughs> really exciting news. States that said they had no money suddenly have money and are doing it by sending out stimulus checks, stimulus rent, stimulus to its citizens in the form of utilities as well. Meantime, what's going on with that federal stimulus, the CR, the Congressional Budget Bill that's supposed to send you a stimulus check? That's in addition to state stimulus. Which one's going to land there first? The state, of course. But the Congressional one could get on a path today. The question is whether to get on path or get on the Hot Mess Express. I'll have the details for you. It's a good morning. It's a Tuesday morning. I'm so glad you joined me. But did you save me some bacon? This is Early Mornings Alalite. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early mornings, I like the 6.30 edition. I'm here, you are here, and the toast is toast, and the butter is buttery. But, um, you know, bacon is just always better than sausage, so I don't know why you left me sausage. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined me. Uh, it's a good day, and I'm glad you uh, crushed the Monday. I'm glad the Monday did not crush you. But here we go. Exciting news across the board, as overnight, a series of major, major senators and congressional leaders said, you know what? This thing is junk. This thing is junk. And then they started talking about the Congressional Budget Bill, besides Nancy's hair. Uh, they, they said, you know, we just don't like this thing. What is this thing? Who, who, what pamphlet did this come out of? Now, what's important to understand is you start Tuesday, is there is no bill still. Um, <laughs> there was once a time that I liked the problem creators. Now I just really don't like these people. And the problem creators are now uh, creating more problems than they can even fix. So if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel because I'm breaking things down and making them very simple for you, but I'm getting money right now. And as the problem creators try to ensure that you don't get money, I'm ensuring that you do get money right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now. Gain viewers thousands of dollars. And now if a new community located at news.lla.com forward slash community, I have nine volunteers and uh, actually 10 volunteers, nine volunteers for CARES Act, one money, one for EIDL that are all stepping forward and helping you around the clock. This is incredible great news because these are people that are volunteering to step forward and help incredible in need people get rent before they're evicted, get money before they before they go hungry. And the followers of this channel, the viewers are doing the same by saying, you know what? Share this information, I just got it. Share this information, I want someone else to get this as well. I want someone else to get this rent program as well. I want someone to get this stimulus. That's the spirit of helping each other. You know, I was very in keen on day one when I said, you help each other. In fact, I, it was, if you've been with me from the very beginning, there was about one or two weeks in May where I threatened people on camera. I'm like, you better start helping each other or else. <laughs> yeah, so um, I don't need to crack the whip anymore because I'm just so honored that everyone on this channel really helps each other. So please subscribe, please subscribe and also like this video. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. You subscribe on the front of this channel, there's a little alarm button there. So hit that alarm so that you wake up. <laughs> Every morning for early mornings, all right. Over here is an instant premiere. If you've not noticed, there's people talking about me. What are they saying? They're asking where the blazer is. They're asking when's he gonna wear the green shirt again. They're asking what happened to that see-through mesh shirt he wore in May outside. He was always wearing that shirt. I don't see it. They're asking about <laughs> asking about the purple shirt. Listen, why have we not seen a purple shirt in a few days? So I, I just I just know what they're talking about. So uh, the instant premiere is always featured at 6:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're tuning in. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you, as you uh, sit back this morning is that congressional leaders are trying to determine two things right now, or really three things. One, should they take this to the mat for the CR and get it done now, and sh or shut down the federal government, you know, this Saturday, 
Or should they extend this for one week? And what does extending something for one week really mean? Now, I think there's another variable involved. And that other variable involved is taking out all stimulus out of the CR and just making the CR and nothing but that. Why is this changing quickly? It's changing quickly because of two things. One, and the number one issue, is not stimulus checks. The number one issue is Mitch McConnell's liability provision, which no one wants, and Mitch wants to go to the mat over it, like he's done before. And stimulus checks, which people are now realizing that this is not what it was supposed to be. This was supposed to be stimulus, emergency stimulus to millions of Americans who are going on a lockdown and have not have no money. That's what it was supposed to be. Now it's a big bailout for airlines that, you know, uh, clearly have enough uh, money in the bank. So it just, it's not becoming what it was supposed to become. And ultimately, the president sitting back with Mitch and saying, you know what, we're holding our cards really close to our chest. What are their cards? Well, the Mitch and, and Mitch and Donald have not moved off of Mitch's original number, $500 billion. They have not moved, and they have had, they've said nothing really that would show any compromise. Mitch McConnell initially said there's no negotiations. He said that we don't have much time and I'm not going to negotiate and this is it. It's $500 trillion. Well, the, the problem creator said, yeah, we're at 900. Well, good luck because Mitch says, no, I'm not going there, that number. And Mitch, ironically, is not alone. Between the two forces, and the first time you're going to hear this on this channel, between the two forces of the, the problem creators and Mitch, Mitch is going to have more votes in his favor and more dissents against the palm creators. Why? Because Mitch has more Republicans who will support 500, has more um, moderates who support Republicans who will support 500, and then there is every single Democrat and a couple of Republicans who are not going to support the 900. When they look at the 900, they realize, well, wait a second, this just sort of looks like um, you're just trying to sneak something in that doesn't belong there. So what do you do? And this is a very, this is the first time you're going to hear this on this channel. What do you do if you're a senator and you're sitting back and you don't want Mitch's provision, but you also don't want the other side's $900 billion bill? You're going to say no every time. So if the $900 billion bill gets called for a vote because Mitt Romney calls it for a vote, not Mitch McConnell, then you're going to say, no, I don't like it. And then when Mitch McConnell calls his own bill for a vote, and you see that liability provision, you're going to say, no, I don't like it. Or it has no stimulus check in, you're going to say, no, I don't like it. So what does all loud no's mean? It means we go out and shut down. Not you, Congress goes on shutdown. So is that a possibility? You know, um... Mitch is also going to deal, the, it's a hard way to answer the question, Mitch is also going to deal with a strange variable, which is, does he want a shutdown, or does he want to call a vote that looks like he needs us to do extension? If you do an extension, you're avoiding a shutdown, but if you realize you don't have an agreement upon anything, to just walk into a shutdown, it's just like, hey, here we go to a shutdown. And ultimately, if you have a shutdown, it may force people to negotiate more. They have not negotiated much at all. Now, the great news across the board is that your states are coming forward and saying, hey, here is all this stimulus for you. I don't know what they're doing in Congress, but we're offering you some moolah. And what's important to understand is I'm giving you this money right now. So if you go to news.llate.com forward slash community, the new community page on the LLA website, you'll see the volunteers that are there to help you get this money if you've looked and you can't find it yourself. What's important to understand is things have changed really, really fast. And I told you it was going to, and they're not done. So if you looked on Monday, couldn't find it, look on today, or look tomorrow. I always have someone says, I looked for a day, I'm tired. I don't want to look at a little more. Um, you don't want $5,000 that badly? <laughs> I just, you know, you don't want $10,000? Well, I looked for like an hour. I'm exhausted. Let me go watch um, reruns of Barney for five hours. It's just like, you know, come on now. Uh, hustle, hustle. Come on. Let's let's get motivated. Just, you know, you look for one hour and you gave up. Well, guess what? There's some new stuff. 
And I see that now and then, you know, three days ago, I told you that Georgia, for example, the county of Georgia is coming live with a lot of rent grants. Well, what's important to understand is that those rent grants are available for you. Are you going to get it? And someone said, mm, I haven't heard about this. Where can I get it? Where, where, um, can someone send me the link so I can apply online? No, a lot of these things are, are not online. They are announced by your city or county and you're supposed to call them up and apply over the phone. Um, or you apply in person. A lot of things don't have online websites that make it so easy. But the great news across the board is that states are announcing stimulus checks. They're sending out stimulus checks, states. Then counties are sending out stimulus checks. For example, New Mexico is sending out a big stimulus check, and then Colorado is sending out a stimulus check. But then when you turn to um, Orange County, Florida, new stimulus check, another one. They did one just a few weeks ago. They're doing another one. Uh, stimulus check here, stimulus check there. San Diego County, uh, Long Beach County, do a stimulus check for some businesses. LA County, another stimulus check for some businesses there. But then there's that. Then we have something else, which is rent stimulus. So rent stimulus is being announced in a lot of different places, and this is really exciting. So New York State, the whole state of New York, rent stimulus. New York City, rent stimulus. San Diego County, Houston. Uh, boy, where else? Oh, all these Georgia counties. Atlanta. So this is all new. And what's important to understand is you need to get those applications in fast. You got to get those applications in fast. And um, you need to be able to get the application in yourself. So the volunteers will be able to find the place for you, but they can't fill out an application for every single person that applies to them. So make sure you're ready to get that application in on file. Next, utility assistance grants. Boy, those are everywhere. So they're coming from your city, they're coming from your utility company, and they're coming from private organizations. Last, I got to get to private organizations. One of these private organizations, well, they're really exciting. They're stepping forward and paying out money across the board to a lot of people in these groups. Now, the other big news to think about this morning is that some states still confuse residents when they're doing escalated benefits or unemployment. I told you that if you entered unemployment benefits on your prescribed week at a base level of what, say, $100 or $150 a week, but you made over $30,000, you generally qualify for the maximum benefits of your state, which in some states is 300, some states 400, some states more. And let me explain how this works. States pay unemployment benefits every week based upon how much your 2019 earnings are, but they start you on the base level benefits. And then when you show them your 2019 tax return, they look at and determine whether you qualify for additional weeks of benefits each week. No less than two viewers, however, have called up someone in Texas at the unemployment department and have said to them, hey, here's my 2019 tax return. I made over $30,000 a week. Why am I being paid $100 a week? Because that's all we pay here. What? <laughs> in Texas, they pay over $500 a week for unemployment benefits. And so one viewer was told by a Texas representative in the unemployment department that the maximum the state of Texas ever pays anyone for unemployment per week is $100. Not true. <laughs> Another person called up and was told, um, we can't raise you from $100 a week. That's what Congress does. Uh, <laughs> also untrue. Now, as to the second one, this goes back to what I've always said on this channel when you're getting that right now money, is to ensure that you're using the right words. And the viewer said that the call center person at unemployment for Texas said, well, we don't do escalated benefits. Congress does. <laughs> Here we go. I said don't use complicated words like escalated benefits when you call them up. And the viewer did exactly that. The viewer called up and says, where's my escalated benefits? Um, escalated benefits? That's what Joe Biden's going to give you in January. It's $600 a week retroactive to August. No, I'm referring to something else. I don't know what you're referring to. So... When you use complicated words, call center operators get confused. Don't use them. Don't use words like escalated benefits or don't use words like grant and don't use words like, you know, uh, money for people who are on SSI but also are married to someone who's a veteran who's also married and has five kids. And just don't keep on making the things complicated. Make them very simple. It's sad that that person called up and said escalate benefits because clearly the call center operator thought that they meant 
FPUC, when they said the federal government pays you this money, not me, not our state, when the viewer was really asking about, can I raise my benefits from $100 a week higher? The viewer made over 35000 in 2019. So clearly it was owed hundreds of dollars a week, retroactive every week. That's the big difference. Meantime, EIDL. If you've not done EIDL, get your application on because I don't think it's going to be around much longer. We've just got a few more weeks, I think, until it's gone. And what also might be gone today is more chatter, potentially, about the CR stimulus. Why? Because there were some chattering overnight that there may be what's called a stopgap or continuation of the CR bill for one week. There were, were one report that said that Steny Hoyer on behalf of the Democrats and Mitch McConnell on behalf of the Republicans agreed to, informally to extend the deadline for the federal budget bill to be done to December 18th from December 11th. Um, and that the, art, the story said that they would have liked to have gotten the extension done Tuesday night, but they may not have time, but they're hoping to do the extension on Tuesday night so that, guess what? Didn't go home and do much of nothing again. Lord, these people. Needless to say, it's a rumor. It's not yet confirmed. We'll see today if it's, it's, it's confirmed. And I'll have those updates by morning to LA. If you have questions or comments today's video, drop them in the comments below. I might feature them tomorrow's recording. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay in the LA for more.